What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate FIFA series. We are getting straight into the action today. We come up against our first game, a team called Puyo Pants Down. He's got a 5-2-1-2 team. A BPL team, I wasn't too bothered about the team looking at it. Um, he's got Demichelis, Agger and Colo Torre, not the best three centre-backs in the world. He's got Triore and Boney up front. Now whilst they are like pretty much powered strikers, you know, overpowered strikers, um... I don't know, I wasn't too bothered, but look at this. He plays a kickoff glitch there. The keeper punches it out, and the rebound falls straight to him and goes in the back of the net. He did make it 2-0 shortly after that as well. But it pulled one back in the 49th minute. Goals came flying in in quick succession here. The first goal was scored just after half time, and uh, he made it 3-1 again just a few minutes later. And then in the 60th minute, again, Oscar here breaking through. This was an important shot for me. It went in the back of the net to make it 3-2. Now, once again, guys, I want to thank you all for your support in this series so far again every every episode is just smashing over well over a thousand 1500 likes as we pulled a third goal back there in the 75th minute and uh, yeah just uh, really really appreciate the support uh, like i say i'm trying to get them up daily you know i'm trying to get these up every day but i've literally just played this now i'm recording it i'm going to edit it um render it out and upload it probably for about 4 35 o'clock um so if I don't have time to upload on Monday, please bear with me. I'm trying my best to get this up every single day. I'm actually enjoying playing again. But there is the first game that we didn't win, guys. Quite an even game. I did feel a little aggrieved. I felt like I should have won. He had like a lot of his chances came in very quick succession. You know, a, a shot blocked and then a shot wide. A shot blocked and then a corner headed over. You know, they they all came like two, two or three chances at once a couple of times. Um... So I really felt like I probably should have won that game. But a draw is not a loss. So we still got an unbeaten record so far. 12 wins at one draw, no losses. And I went up and picked out Samuel Eto. He was in the center forward position as a uh, 24k striker though. So I added the fitness card to the team. I added the uh, centre forward striker card to Samuel Eto. I had one available that I got in packs, and uh, there we go. That's the team again. Still looking to improve it a little bit more, but we come up against this guy. Obviously, a Liverpool fan. He's got the Liverpool kits, the Liverpool badge, mainly Liverpool players. Uh, Liverpool obviously picked up a very important win against Norwich today, 3 2. And I thought this could be an interesting game. You know, he's got really, really good strikers in Eto and Sturridge. He's got a decent midfield. Uh, I would personally play Gerard where Ramirez was and Ramirez where Gerard was, but it didn't take me too long to get in, uh, in the lead in this one. Eto there on his debut showing some great strength smashes that hits the keeper falls back to the upgraded Oscar who bends that in at the far post and just like in the last game where I had it against me where the ball bounced out 40 yards 35 40 yards and uh, got finessed in this time it went for me and then straight from kickoff look at this from a goal from Rooney beautiful stuff from Rooney tricks through one two three four five and then shoots five players he takes on shoots and scores and Wayne Rooney still doing the magic for me right now he is I'm just enjoying him like we're getting up through the divisions now as well so it's going to start getting a bit tougher to you know to score great goals and there's another beautiful chip from Rooney and look at that for another great goal 21 minutes in 3-0 and they actually decided at that point it was time to give up well it actually wasn't that point he, he waited around for another like 20 minutes or so playing unable to score unable to get back in the game and as you can see there, 41 minutes in, 3-0. So yeah, like I say, Rooney's doing good. We're moving up through the divisions. We're in Division 7 right now, I think, or are we in Division 8? I can't even remember if we're in Division 7 or 8. I think we're in Division 8. So we're going to be moving, you know, once we get to sort of Division... Uh, Division 5 and 4. That's when it's going to start getting a bit more difficult. Another game here, guys. We come up against a really solid team. 4-4-2 there. It's got Marquisio and Guarín in midfield. Balotelli and Tevez up front. Tevez was unreal in the previous FIFAs. He just doesn't get a look in anymore. He's got Bibiani on the wing as well. You know, a lot of pace. I was a bit worried about this uh, this team. And rightly so. He starts off with a really lucky goal there. Bounces to him in the box anyway. Was lucky. Has a shot. Deflects off the, the defender and the goalkeeper and goes in to make it 1-0. But I did make Make it 1-1 shortly after halftime. Beautiful 1-2 chip through ball. Eto again, just two games in now, smashes that one home to make it 1-1. I don't think he scored on his debut, but he does pick up a goal there for us and put us in good stead. But almost straight away after again, look at that. I just can't defend him at all. And uh, Balotelli there running through. Was that Balotelli, I think, uh, or was it Guarin? Whoever it was, it wasn't Balotelli. He's right there. He just run through my defense, just used that power dribble. I couldn't get close to him. And then... Uh, 67th minute here we go Oscar gets tackled in the box but we get lucky deflection you know I've had a bit of luck going for me a bit of luck going against me I don't mind it when FIFA does this I don't mind it when you have sometimes the luck runs your way sometimes it doesn't run your way 
I don't like FIFA when the luck seemingly always runs against you. That's when I can't stand playing FIFA. But this game, I managed to nick a win. It was a very, very close game. Very evenly fought game. Um, I do think I deserve to win it. And I did win it. Etu with two goals there. And Oscar with a goal as well. Constant and Tevez for my man that went 3-2 down. But we pick up... Excuse <laughs> We pick up a nice 3-2 win, excuse the yawn there, and um, another 1,000 coins. I don't know how many more of this EASFC coin boost I've got available. They only put it back in recently, and I already had it unlocked, so I don't like I don't know how long I've got with it, basically. And but like I said, uh, you know, another another nice win. We get, uh, we get a win. We win the title. We move up to the next division, which I do now believe is Division 7. This should be a little bit more difficult. We come up against this guy. He's got a decent team. Jesus Navas, Van Persie there. Schneider's not bad. Leroy Fern. Uh, Van Wolfsginkel, I think that's how his name said in the middle Elia you know he's got an okay team he doesn't get perfect chemistry and all the players like Schneider will be missing out a little bit um, but it's a decent team Richards Koscielny there as well but uh, straight away guys actually he got a red card after just two minutes I broke through on goal he fouled me from behind he took me out he got a man sent off and uh, I didn't score from the preceding free kick. But that was a beautiful goal there from that free kick. Again, I think Eto with the goal. And then just shortly after that, another cross to the far post. And there is Ashley Young with the goal to make it 2-0. Finally getting another contribution from Ashley Young. He's the next person we're looking to change. We want to pick up someone like Eden Hazard maybe. Um, but here we go again. We go through with Wayne Rooney. We smash that one into the back of the net to make it 3-0. And then once again, straight from kickoff, he loses possession of the ball trying to do the chip through ball. He's got no centre back there. So Eto is free to run through. Smacks it from 30 yards it goes in the back of the net and this guy says no more please he decides to give up at 4-0 and that pretty much signals the end of the episode two more goals from uh, Eto, one goal from Rooney with two more assists and we're going to show you the stats of all the players in the first team right now uh, just at the end of this video we advance through the screens and go into the team and as you can see, guys, Rooney there with 21 goals and 11 assists in 16 games. An absolutely crazy good contribution from him. Uh, I'll let you guys uh, have a look at the, the rest of the players yourself as I sign out here, guys. So once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like rating, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Let's get this, uh, this channel to 100,000 subscribers. We're on about 83,000 or something right now, which is crazy. Let's get it up to 100,000 subs. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, I will see you back here on Tuesday. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace. And before you know it, it all just goes fucking wrong. And it led to a, a, a debate on Twitter between myself and these two guys and came to the, the conclusion that, first of all, um, what, what constitutes as a centre-forward these days? Now, my opinion of